Right, everyone's phones on silent. It's funny, isn't it? This week is the first time in a long time I've actually been excited about going and fighting. Usually I'm just excited about it being over and, and, and winning and, and that's it, you know. But this time I'm excited about the performance. Um, and I put that down to the change which I've, I've put into my career. And I think it's the best move I've, I've, I've made so far. I feel like, you know, this year has been a whirlwind. I've had over a year out of the ring. Um, I've had so many ups and downs this year, you know, nobody knows what I've gone through this year. And for me, that gives me strength to, to have turned it around. It's just a lot of change in my life. Um, a lot of people don't know uh, what's going on, what's gone on, but, you know, I'll keep that to myself and maybe say another day. But everything I've gone through this year, there's nothing that Mick can do to me that's going to be worse than that. So whatever he brings, I'm ready for. No, this year in general has just been a very tough year. Um, very tough year for me. Probably the hardest year in my career. Um, mentally. I just fought the wrong fight. Mm. It's okay, man. I'm devastated. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it was very diffi difficult and, and I would say my last one probably more so than, than, than the first loss. A very, very hard one to take uh, because I just didn't perform. In the first one, you know, you can take away the performance and you go, well, okay, well, that, that kind of everything which I thought would happen would happen, except the anthem. No matter what, no matter how dark things are, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And, you know, that's not just in boxing, that's in life in general for anybody and everybody. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a tough year, but we'll finish it high. Before I went to Pedro, I was like half going, is it worth even going over here? You know, I have to be away from family even further. It's going to be tough. Do I really want to put myself through all this again? I'm like, do I really want to continue going on? And then I went there and the spark, once I teamed with Pedro, the spark was immediately lit. Um, the excitement, everything like that came back. And I just felt, it was it was the right move, and it's not like he's teaching me anything new in in, in eight weeks training camp. You know, he's not he hasn't taught me anything new. What he has done, and is in his own words, he's just dusted me off and and bring brought me back to using what I do best and and, and bringing it my best asset. So um, I'm really happy. I think there's pressure on him because when he turned professional after you know being an Olympian, everyone looks at these guys that come through from being an elite amateur and automatically expect them to be world champions as professionals. And I think that adds pressure from the start. And I think he's felt that pressure. And I think that obviously coming up short, he knows he's probably got one more chance to, to win a world title. So if he doesn't get past me on Saturday night, then he, he's not gonna get that, is he? So um, I think, you know, home crowd, coming off a bad knockout, it's going to be tough for him. Yeah, Dick, I'm, I'm obviously coming back after you know my, my second defeat, my second attempt at a world title. And you know, I, I've got to get back to where I belong, which I believe is a world champion. Um, so, you know, I need to win this fight. <laughs> as simple as that. There's, there's no other way about it. It's, it's a, a very, very important fight. It's just a fight. I'm ready, let's, let's have it. Um, it's gonna be entertaining, it's gonna please the crowd and you know, the, there's big rewards for the winner. I'm gonna take him out and, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna win by, by any means necessary, whether it is points or whether it is um, by knockout, you know, it's gonna come. Uh, I, I wanna go in there and get the job done uh, and look good doing so, but I believe I'll knock him out. For me, it's just a fight, it's just business. I don't feel any way about Mick Connor. I don't have any negative thoughts about him. I don't, you know, I don't care about him. I don't care what he's going to do on the night. I don't care you know, what he brings. That ring walk, when you walk out there, Grace is playing. The whole arena is standing up singing. Half of them drunk, half of them not drunk. 
you know, just belting out grace and you're going, you're looking around going, that's unbelievable, that's special. I'm going to enjoy it, I'm going to soak it up, I'm going to, you know, come out to my tunes and uh, enjoy the whole process because none of the, the fans, the thousands of fans that are going to be there for him can fight for him. When I'm at my best, no one beats me, never mind Jordan Gill. What happens on Saturday night is I go in there, put a performance on, land on Jordan, he either quits or he gets knocked out. I like box Mick, I can outfight him, I think I'll outpunch him and uh, I think I'll knock Mick Conlon out in the 11th because I want to do one better than me. Well, if your blueprint is to get uh, concussed for 11 and a half rounds, fantastic. I don't care who he is, I don't care who, what Lee Wood is to him or anything like that. That is what it is, that's history. What means most is Saturday night and, and that's where I'll go in and put a performance on and uh, no better place to do it than Belfast. So yeah, I'll go in there and I'll do a job on him. Whether it's death or his talent or not, he's done.